All right, guys, I'm in Whole Foods. We're gonna do the ultimate keto, carnivore, and low carb, high fat video all in one. So let's start off with just straight keto. It has been a long time since I've done a friggin' supermarket hack video, so let's get it. Okay, guys, what we want is our cruciferous vegetables. You've got broccoli, cabbage. These are all crunchy, low in carbohydrate vegetables. We have Brussels sprouts. These are all considered cruciferous. Kale is a no because it's goitrogenic, very, very goitrogenic and can bother your thyroid. Now the carrots, they're gonna be for thunder. <laughs> we gotta get some organic carrots for thunder. Okay guys, since we're already in this section, people always ask about, if I'm doing low carb, high fat, and I'm still starch dependent, what type of vegetables can I consume with starch? Parsnip. This is what you want, people, if you have histamine. Now, not all of you will do well, but there you go. Parsnip is very, very great. So beets, when you cook them, they can kind of create a lot of sugar, but if they're raw sometimes in a salad or lightly cooked, they're fine. Now we've got up here celery. Celery is keto approved, but in moderate amounts. What else do we got? Uh, now leek. Leek is a type of onion that is lower in carbohydrate than the bulb onion, so these are approved. Radishes are approved, especially in salads, but salads very seldomly. All right, low carb, high fat people. Can you eat cherries? No. Can you eat strawberries? Not sweet ones. Can you eat raspberries? Yes, you can. You definitely can. We got the raspberries here, we got the blackberries here, and we have the blueberries. This is only for people who are still sugar and glucose dependent. Keto, omnivore, and carnivore people cannot eat these sweet fruits at all, period. All right guys, so we have asparagus. Very, very good for keto. Peppers, well, Mm, they're nightshades and they can be very difficult for people who got thyroid issues, so I say no. We've got cauliflower, say so yes. We've got bell pepper because they're red, they're gonna be uh, create more sugar in when you cook them, so green ones only. Tomatoes, are these approved? Well, the skins of a tomato are very, very, very poisonous, plus the seeds. Take out the seeds, take off the skin, eat the meat, and have it seldomly because these are nightshades and they will affect your thyroid. All right, you nut people, are nuts and seeds approved? No. Big, hard, no walnuts, no cashews, no pistachio, no. <laughs> now, macadamia nuts. The reason why these are quasi-approved is because they're very, very high in fat and less phytic acid. But be careful because they're addictive and they still have mycotoxins on them and they're pretty histamine latent. Sunflower seeds, kind of the same as macadamia nuts. This is like, I'm desperate. This is like once or twice a year but it's a no, a little bit, slightly yes. I know you guys want Brazil nuts for the potassium. It's a hard no. Almonds are hard no. Mixed nuts are a hard no because of the phytic acid and the bacteria and the lots of fungus and stuff that's not good for candida growing on this stuff. Let's talk about the drinks. Zevia. I'd say no. I mean, if you're having Zevia every once in a while, 
people who are soda addicts tend to go to this. I'm like, just get off all the soda, really. But people are still trying to ask me, what do you drink on keto or carnivore or low carb, high fat? Water. Now this is a great water, guys. Mountain Valley spring water. Oils. What oils can we have on keto? Olive oil. If you're gonna have it, make sure it's in a dark glass bottle so it doesn't oxidize. Um, they mix a lot of crappy stuff with these types of, of olive oils. So if you're getting it directly from Greece or Italy, I don't even know about these brands. Just be very careful, do your research with olive oil. Okay, here we got, here we have coconut oil. This is not ketogenic, but it's a medium chain tr uh, triglyceride, which is great when you're having gallbladder issues in the very beginning, but don't try to adapt on this. Okay, then we've got coconut manna. I love this stuff, it's really addictive. It can be quite sugary. Let's look at the macros here. It, well, it's got one gram of sugar per two tablespoons. Not a lot, there is fat in here, but some people just can't regulate their blood sugar, plus some people have a histamine response. This is my favorite brand, Artisana, but that's a slight maybe. Now, ghee. Ghee is something, this is for ketogenic people, actually all three diets, when we get to the, the animal fats. Uh, you gotta find the ghee that you like because it doesn't always taste the best. So there's different brands and you just gotta find the ghee that you guys love. All right, let's deconstruct this duck fat. So we got duck fat is omega-6. It's good for flavor sometimes, but you guys, it's not the best fat for carnivore or for keto. But we got pork fat, which is amazing. This Epic brand is pretty popular. And where's our lard? Where's our lard? We don't have it. They don't have lard here. Oh, here we go. Our tallow. So we got the tallow, which is quite popular. But again, you're spending 12, 13 bucks on that little small jar of 11 ounces where you can actually make this stuff yourself, you guys, by melting it down and rendering it. Unless there's a sale. <laughs> All right, we've got our avocado oils. Mmm, salads, not the best to cook with, guys. This stuff oxidizes. The best fat to cook with are gonna be animal fats. Now we've got our apple cider vinegars. This is great, Bragg is a great brand. Um, organic apple cider vinegar. It's really great for your liver. It's also good for uh, gallbladder issues. And people think it, it helps you lose weight. It doesn't, people, it does not. Let's just hope also we can't hear the damn music playing in the background. Also, apple cider vinegar, vinegar hello is really good for people who've got acid reflux. All right, guys, let's talk about our meats. Yes, we want all fatty meat. We want we want the legs, right? We want the legs over the breast if we're ever going to do chicken. This is no good. It's good for potassium, for potassium broth, but otherwise you want to eat the darker meats, right? Because you're going to have more of these things like iron in it. Not a lot, but a little bit. Um, no. Oh, no, I'm just looking right now. Thank you. Uh, so we're just going to skip all this. We want fatty cuts of beef. These are leaner cuts. But these leaner cuts um, could be great for broth, right? When we're having lean cuts of beef, this would be good for broth. Otherwise, we want fatty, 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 fatty cuts. A lot of you guys are asking me about shrimp. Every once in a while, you can have shrimp. Not a lot of seafood, people. It's pretty lean, and these are bottom feeders. They're pretty, mm, I love me some crab legs. Mm. I'm telling you. Uh, but salmon, salmon's also good. Sometimes at Whole Foods, they'll have um, grass-fed liver on sale, but unfortunately, they don't. So today, I'm gonna get some chicken livers. Alright guys, when it comes to bacon, you have to make sure 
that it's uncured without sugar. These still have sugar on them, in them. Let's see, let's look at the ingredients. Actually, this brand doesn't have any sugar. Again, that's right, you look for sugar-free on the cover. If it doesn't say sugar-free on the cover, don't get it. Like, here we go, we got some sugar-free dry rub. That's the only type of bacon. If you, Unless, if you get sort of a organic, uncured, it's gonna have sugar. We don't want any sugar in our meats. It's keto and carnivore. A lot of you guys want sausages, and I'm like, you guys, Applegate's the best. They tend to have no sugar in the ingredients, but most of these suckers have sugar, even if it says uncured. All right, fermented foods. This is a be careful, because a lot of you guys are gonna react to these sauerkrauts. You don't realize that you will, but a lot of people do. So be very, very careful with fermented foods. Test them first to see if you get bloated at all. But a lot of these can add more bacteria than your colon can handle, especially if you've got an overgrowth or a dysbiotic gut. So this is a maybe. Okay guys, I'm bouncing around, but these are the really bad onions that produce sugar. We want either leek or spring onions. This stuff is a hard no. Well, unless you're low carb, high fat. Speaking of low carb, high fat people, sweet potatoes, they have a little bit of oxalates in them, a little bit of a goitrogenic effect. Some people react, some people don't. Yams and sweet potato, you're gonna have to just make a guess. Now, pumpkin is another approved for low carb, high fat. Pumpkin, squash, these are higher in carbohydrate rooted vegetables. White potato is a hard no. All these potatoes are a hard no. Sweet potato is a yes, and uh, sweet potato, what else is hard yes? Okay, coconut flour is a yes if you want to make things like pancakes. I don't recommend making faux carbs all the time, but it's a yes. Okay, hard no's, monk fruit, hard no. Okay, coconut sugar, hard no. Truvia, mm. stevia is a sometimes, it is an oxalate, high in oxalates. Stevia is a, mm. Iolos, I'm on the table about that. And they have no Iolos here. People doing low, low carb, high fat. Honey is a mm, maybe sometimes, maybe, maybe. Low carb is still dependent on sugar and carbs for those who are just tuning in to my channel. It's not ketogenic, nor is it carnivore. Now the coconut aminos is a yes. Bragg's aminos are yes. We gotta be very careful with our sauces. We gotta be very careful. With all of the, the chocolate drops, all the stevia flavor drops, is it sometimes? Kettle and fire is a bone broth. I don't like to push bone, bone broth anymore, guys. I'm done, it's a hard no. Because of the oxalates and the glutamate, but we've got broth. Broth is a hard yes, if you can find it with no sugar. It's a hard yes. Look at this, eight bucks for this tiny little thing. Not worth it, guys. You can make your own broth stock very easily. I'll make a video showing you guys how to make it. Not worth it. Probiotics, all of this stuff is a be very careful. It's the same thing with the sauerkraut. You can create a really bad overgrowth if you're not careful. So if you do try want to really try a probiotic. Mega Food is the brand that I recommend because they start you off at lower culture counts, 20 billion, rather than going up to these ones that can be up to 85. That's too high to start probiotics. You wanna start on a lower culture count. So 20 is perfect to start with. 
I love this brand actually. All right guys, chia seeds, cacao. It's a hard no. Hard no. Oxalates, hard no. Hemp is, I'm on the fence. Hemp hearts, hemp. It's a, it's a soft, I'm not sure. Collagen, hard no. No, 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 no. Oxalates, no. Hard no. All right, let's talk about our fish oils. So we got Nordic Naturals. This is the best brand. I'm not a fan because the, all of these products at some point, they start oxidizing and you're getting bad quality. But if you are gonna go for a brand, go for this one. Okay guys, when we're dealing with magnesium, don't get cocktails. Don't do this. You just, one at a time, do not get mixtures of, of multivitamins, that's a hard no. Don't get your electrolyte cocktails, do one at a time, like where it just says magnesium. Or it'll say, uh, just magnesium. <laughs> I'm looking for magnesium glycinate. Citrate is good for your bowels. This is a pretty credible brand. Citrate is really good if you're having constipation, but otherwise, we want to start with glycinate. If you can't do glycinate, do malate. If you can't do malate, do L3 and 8. Potassium tablets, they can be pretty poisonous. See, 99 milligrams, and they only do 99 because if you do more, you can damage your kidneys. This is a hard no. Flax seeds, it's a yes. They do have phytoestrogens, but it's on the fence. Some people says it helps clear out estrogen. Some people says it creates estrogen. But so far, it's a yes. Not to make you mad, guys, but all the cheese is a hard, hard no. Right? Yes. Cheese has a lot of casein in it. It's very histamine producing. It's cross-reactive. If you're trying to heal the gut, this is not the way. I know you guys are addicted, but it's a hard no. All right, there is no keto products. There is no liquor. These are all hard no's. Not even liquor, no wine, no liqueur, no vodka. It's all a hard no. All right, guys, here we've got our coffees. Hard no, 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 no. Mycotoxins. A lot of glyphosate on these bad boys, adrenal issues, L-tyrosine issues, dehydration issues, uh, messing with the mucus lining of your stomach. I mean, the list goes on. It's a diuretic and on. Hard no. Now we've got our milk. Milk is a hard no. There's too many carbohydrates in it. Hard no, hard no. Cream. Mmm, grass-fed raw. You can do milk if you do, you can do raw milk if you're low carb, high fat, but all of this stuff is, eh, it's a no. I know a lot of you guys want to do heavy cream, but if you know for sure you don't react, it's a maybe okay. And the last is butter. This is Kerrygold butter. This is the most commonly used butter. Most of the year, the animals are grass fed. Not the whole year, but most of the year. All this other stuff, nasty, nasty, ugh. Er, no sour cream, no cottage cheese, hard no. Things like cacao, this is not cacao, but dark chocolate and cacao is a hard, hard no. All right, you guys, there you have it. This is me doing the ultimate shopping video in Whole Foods, in Texas. And now I can just refer to this video. Everyone's like, what do I buy? And then we're gonna break down how much and how circadian, everything, digestion, chewing, and I'm out. This is gonna be a long video to upload with crappy Wi-Fi. If you guys wanna learn more, go to stephanieperson.com, book a consultation, or go to my website or my course page where I cover all three diets, low carb, high fat, and to really break this, this stuff down blah break this stuff down in terms of macros and I better keep talking loud so the music doesn't pick up on this video and uh, my Instagram is Stephanie Ketogenic I got some energy 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 at Whole Foods in Texas and I'm officially out